We need an expanded college football playoff as soon as humanly possible. Bowl games have been in serious decline for years and the four-team playoff pulled the plug. The constant narrative is make the field of four or you're playing in a de facto vacation exhibition. It provides ESPN with the golden goose of live sports, but otherwise, the games don't matter much. It's why stars opt out, and we get it, even if we don't like it. It's why coaches will quit on their teams before bowls, and we almost understand, as long as that team is not still in contention for the playoff, which is one reason Brian Kelly looks worse than Lincoln Riley. It's another month of practice, and it's fun, but think how much fun if these games were part of an actual tournament that decided the champion, you know, like every other level of football. This time next week, I'll gladly be in Orlando to cover two bowls, the Cheez-It and the Citrus. Everyone we see from Iowa will be in a good mood. It's a bowl vibe. So now a quick history lesson from this wacky world presented by Google. The Cheez-It started in Miami 31 years ago as the Blockbuster Bowl, then became CarQuest, Micron PC, MicronPC.com, Visit Florida Tangerine, Mazda Tangerine, Champ Sports, Russell Athletic, Camping World, and now Cheez-It. Not to be confused with the Cheez-It Bowl in Phoenix, which was originally known as the Cactus Bowl. The Citrus Bowl started as the Tangerine Bowl in 1947. It switched to Citrus in 1983, then CompUSA, OurHouse.com, Capital One, which is how we got Tate to Holloway, Buffalo Wild Wings, Overton's, which I think is a boating store, and now VRBO Citrus. These colorful histories, along with names like Salad Bowl, Bad Boys Mowers Gasparilla Bowl, and Sears' favorite, the Duke's Mayo Bowl, provide smiles, but let's move to games that really matter. Heck, if a quarterfinal needs to be called Jimmy Kimmel LA Bowl or Pull In Weed Eater Independence Bowl, so be it. The silly names aren't why we're losing interest, it's the lack of stakes.